Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is one of the most exciting Fridays of the team of the season today in FIBA 22 because League One team of the season is here. We are getting the insane League One Tot Squad released in packs today. A lot of people are going to open packs that they have saved up and a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on these cards. Of course, we already know the team that's coming out. It is leaked. I'll show you guys that in a second if you have not seen it. And I want to continue to talk about the market because today is going to be a huge day for the market, all depending upon the prices of these League One cards when they come out. So we'll talk through that a little bit again and also look through the SBC objective content that we would expect today. We have a couple leaks there. Another great flashback SBC is expected to drop today on Friday. And we also have leaks for a brand new TOTS swaps. We had TOT swaps number one the past couple of weeks. Looks like we're getting TOT swaps two starting today with new tokens being released that we will collect for even better rewards. And we'll take a look at those leaked rewards here as a part of the video today as well. But I really want to talk more about the market again today. Um, after a bit of a quieter day yesterday, we did have the Thomas Lamar SBC released as our last SBC for, Le uh, for La Liga team this season as those cards go out of packs today and they leave packs. Uh, with the League One cards coming in, that's where all of the hype is going to be. So we're going to talk a lot about that and what just to expect in general today on this crazy day of FIFA. So again, League One is one of the most hyped up leagues with all the meta players that are in it. And I expect it to be a really hyped day of FIFA today. So if you're excited for League One Tots, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at this team. A little bit of this at the beginning, if you've seen the videos the past day or two, it's just going to be a bit of, of a refresher. But it's always good to get your mind right heading into a content and a promo Friday where there's so many things going on. So many things could happen. Let's just go over what is coming out today. Of course, these 15 cards with these statistics are expected, of course. EA has been doing some adjusting to stats last second in the past couple of weeks with team of the season. We'll see if they do it today. What we really are going to look out for with these cards today is number one, skill move and weak foot upgrades. Are they going to give a Ben Yedder like a five-star weak foot or a five-star skills? Are they going to give Mbappe 5-5? Five, five? Are they going to give some of these middle to lower tier cards some four-star or five-star skill move upgrades, right? Or weak foot upgrades. That's going to be really, really key for the prices of some of these cards. And that's also what we've been talking about for the last two days on the channel as well. It all comes down to the pricing for this squad today. Yes, it is kind of a given that there's a lot of hype for cards like Lukas Paqueta, Chalmany, Fofana, uh, Genduzzi, Marquinhos having a card that is better than his team of the year item, Messi having a card that's a little bit lower rated than his team of the year item. There's a lot of hype for all of these cards today, but what I really think it comes down to is the price, and that price is going to be affected by any skill mover weak foot upgrades and, of course, the supply on the market. So, you know, Keep an eye on guys like Paqueta today because these cards are still going to be very in demand. If Paqueta's Tots card is not five star uh, in either weak foot or skill moves, then, uh, you know, you, you might see or well, especially skill moves is the big thing for Paqueta. Um, then I think you would see this foot birthday version maybe drop a little bit at first, but then potentially rebound. There's just so many variables with this team coming out today. That's why I was a fan of selling some of the stuff off, especially if you owned cards from previous team of the season squads. There's been so much panic selling in the past couple of weeks with some of these cards dropping, like some of them like in half. Uh, like Jude Bellingham was 2.8, 2.9 million coins. Now he's 2 million coins flat. And even back a week and a half ago, he was 3 million coins. So these cards have continued dropping off. I think that, again, since League One is just so hyped, regardless, you're going to see some prices dropping on the market today for the Prem Tots, Bundesliga Tots, and maybe even a little bit from La Liga on some of the La Liga cards, just because, again, League One is so incredibly hyped and so many people want to put those cards in their team. And this, these are just big names, right? I mean, look at Pedri. He's down to 1.5 million coins flat. He's down a lot. It's a big day for midfielders, right? Again, if you take a look at this team right here, it is a huge, huge, huge day for midfielders. There's four insane mids in this team with Genduzi, Fofana, Chalmeni, Lukas Paqueta. So you've seen panic selling already on guys like Nkunku and Bellingham and Pedri. Team of the Year Conte has gone down in price. You might even see more of that today as the team is absolutely released or actually released into the game. I think you could see a little bit more of that. But again, as we talked about in yesterday's video too, what it really comes down to with these cards and how the market as a whole is going to react today is if these cards are cheap, 
then a lot of the rest of the market is going to drop because people are going to sell their Vinny, their Modric, or their Militao, or their Benzema, or maybe even some of their older cards from like Premier League Tots, like a Van Dyke or a Sun or a De Bruyne. If the cards that come out today are really cheap, they're going to sell those to go try out these brand new items that are very linkable, very easy to link together. Brazilian links, French links, Ligue 1, right? A lot of green links that people have with cards maybe they already have in their club as well to put them into their team. So I just think there's going to be a ton of hype today. If they're cheap, it's going to crash the market a lot. If these cards are expensive, then you're probably going to see other stuff on the market rebound a little bit. But again, that first hour today after content is really going to be key. Like I'm talking from the content drop, the first hour after that, that's where you're going to get a sense of A, how cheap these cards are, and B, how the market's going to react to that. So that's going to be the place. We're going to be live streaming during that time. If you want to uh, check the Twitch link down below in the description, we'll be watching it all happen there and kind of analyzing are the prices of these League One Tots cards good early on or are they way too expensive, kind of like Bundesliga was a couple weeks ago. Now, speaking of midfielders, once again, we have an SBC player that is leaked for today. Oop, one second, we'll pass on that. This is our flashback SBC that we should be getting today, right? The past like three or four weeks, we've got a flashback SBC every single Friday. Last week, uh, we had the Isco. Before that, we had the Deli Alley and the Axel Witzel. Looks like we're getting Verratti today. If These are predicted stats. They're not confirmed. But if this SBC is really, really good today, this is going to be a card that everybody is going to want to get in their team because, of course, people are going to plan on trying out TOTS cards. And with the PSG links and with the stats this guy could have, with the body type that he has, and if he gets a really good upgrade, if this card is somewhat cheap uh, and maybe if he gets like five-star skills, this would be an incredible, incredible SBC. He'd be so, so good in game. Um, and he would fit the meta very, very well for a lot of people. It's kind of, basically, if you look at this card, it's kind of like a Pedri type card dropping with PSG links. So that's a pretty big SBC for today. Again, it all comes down to the price and what his stats are when they get released today. But none of the flashback SBCs that we have had have disappointed recently, right? The Isco was really good. The Deli Ali was really good. The Axel Witzel was good and it was just, it was really cheap. So I think that this SBC today is probably going to end up being really, really good as well. Now, we're also expecting two objective players. This is the first one, Objective Dante, Brazilian center back. These are not the confirmed links. These are stats predicted once again. So that could be a really good Brazilian center back objective if he drops today. And then our other objective player will be Ajorque. Uh, this one does not look as hype, but it probably should be pretty easy. And if you want to get him done for a French striker, you should be able to get uh, this card pretty easily today on the game as well. So that's kind of all of our content that we were expecting. Now also, uh, what we just looked at for a second, and this is a, a leak that was, it's pretty new, but also sort of ex expected. Um, Tots Swaps 2 is starting today. Just like Tot Swaps 1, we're gonna have the exact same thing, but another time around for Tot Swaps 2 with different, and in my opinion, better rewards. Now you guys may have seen this a little bit, but there's so many options for these rewards. And the biggest W out of all of this are the player picks. So make sure you start collecting the tokens today. And we'll talk about this later on as we head throughout this week. And as these rewards are confirmed on the EA website today, I mean, you have a league one tots player pick that is one of five cards. Like that's going to be a crazy player pick. I know it's 22 tokens. It's going to take a grind to get there, but that is an insane player pick with huge potential, right? Prem tots player pick 22 tokens as well. There's also a one of three player pick for every league in the top five, except for Bundesliga. So whether you're a fan of La Liga, Syria, Premier League, or Ligue 1, all of those leagues are represented by a one of three or a one of five player pick, which with your 25 tokens, the possibilities of stuff in here is endless. Whether you want to do a guaranteed pack, a player pick, I feel like most people this time around are probably going to try to go for some player picks uh, because there's some lower tier, lower token options. Like you can you can get a Prem Tots player pick one of three for 14 tokens. Last time that was 19. You can get a League One Tots pick for 14 tokens, right? So there's a lot of hype with this. So start collecting those rewards today. And also since Tot Swaps number one is ending, of course, we've seen this loading screen on the game all week. Make sure if you have any tokens left over, Make sure you turn them in because tot swap tokens from number one that you maybe used in, uh, in like either the 84 times 25 or the Premier League tots player pick, those do not work for tot swaps number two, which is starting today. And actually, as you can see, if you go in the transfer market in the club, 
there's a new like item in here. It shows player rarity. That's uh that's the tot swaps two like token or t a swaps item that will be given out today. Probably they're going to give one out for free. There's going to be 25 tokens like there was last time. Uh, so you cannot use tot swaps one items in two. So they're not like transferable. They don't carry over. So that's just one thing to kind of mention today is watch out. Uh, for that sort of stuff, but it's going to be a huge day of content, right? Because of those swaps coming out and people are going to want to grind those. But again, it's all about the players in packs and the SBCs. That's what's going to affect the market the most. And, and speaking of packs, just once more, again, yesterday we had that little issue with the player, uh, with the preview packs, where they released another preview pack on the game. There was maintenance. I don't know if you guys saw on Wednesday or Thursday morning, late Wednesday night, for some of you guys on the West Coast USA uh, time frame, but they ran maintenance. And I don't know if that had anything to do with that preview pack issue. What I really am gonna be careful in watching today on Friday is the store. They haven't dropped preview packs in a really long time. And because of that little error, I guess you could say, it makes us think that they maybe you're gonna drop another preview pack today, or you know maybe we're gonna see another preview pack soon. So that's not any guarantee. That's just something that's on my mind. And that would be a way that they could make the League One Tots today come onto the market at a very, very cheap price because that would mean a ton of supply. Whenever they release player pa um, preview packs, into the store it's basically everybody gets to open that pack for free you guys maybe rem remember earlier on this year around black friday where they released a preview pack and it destroyed the market and it would really hurt the market today if they did something like that again there's no confirmation but i'm just trying to think of ways where ea would make this um, league one tots team today cheap and i think if they if they know if they make it cheap then that's going to bring a lot of hype to the game. If, if they make you know these cards pretty available, especially guys like Paqueta or Ganduzi or Fofana, if their Tots cards come out today and they're all over 500,000 coins or 600,000 coins, that's going to detract from some of the hype. So I feel like EA is going to somehow today make these cards a little bit cheaper on the market, but I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do it. I think preview packs could be a way they're going to do it. Now, I know a lot of you guys as well have been saving some packs up and you might be like, Nate, I think people have been saving packs for this day. Yeah, there's a little bit. And especially like some of these uh, 75 plus times 15 league one packs, or, you know, like I saved my 84 plus times 25 for today, just because I, the pack weight for La Liga has been awful. So there's a few saved up packs today, but I don't think it's crazy. So it's really going to come down today, I think, to the pack weight. If EA juice the pack weight and make these TOTS players incredibly packable, um, then then that would supply them on the market a lot. Um, and I think it would come down to if they drop preview packs. If they don't do either of those two things, then I think you're just going to see people that will go out and maybe change some teams around. Uh, and, you know, the rest of the market as well. A lot of people may be asking, like, Nate, I bought Awaras for like 560k or Awaras down so much and so much this market is just down so many coins right now uh, because of all the panic selling ahead of this promo because the team just looks so cracked and so incredible. Here's what I would say about this. You know, keep an eye on all of your League One special cards today. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I think all of them are going to explode later on tonight on Friday as people go and build their teams. But if there's a lot of panic selling in that first hour, there's probably even going to be some panic selling leading into the content drop today on some of these cards as people are expecting content to drop and, you know, they're hearing and seeing about the League One Tots cards and stuff like that. So... Um, all I would say is watch your really rare ones like Jelson, uh, like, you know, Renato Sanchez would be a card that I would watch. If there is big drops on these cards, these cards are so rare that if you buy into that panic selling, I think there will be great opportunities if these cards drop lower today. Since there's been selling all week, people got to go buy teams and play weekend league, right? I think there's going to be great opportunities to maybe buy some of these cards in that first hour and then see them rise up later as people go out and build teams and link cards together with any of the new uh, league one tots cards that they want to try out or that they maybe pack uh, from opening some saved up packs so that would be a, a part of the market that i would really watch out for today whether it's like a renato sanchez or even some cards that have already started to go up today uh or in the past couple of days could go up even more like this hakimi was 400,000 coins. He's now 470 because he's not in team of the season. You know, and if a variety SBC drops today and it's really cracked, I could see this card going up even higher. So that's the kind of stuff that I would watch out for today. You're really 
really pop with your League One players that are out of packs. Yes, there could be a bit more panic selling this morning, but I also think there could be some pretty big rebounds later into the night, tonight on Friday, as people go out and play Weekend League. And again, if you think about it, there's going to be a lot of demand for people to play Foot Champs this weekend because you're going to have these league one tots cards in the red rewards up for grabs so that's huge right and a lot of people are going to want to go out and win their champs games and get the best rank possible or get to that 11 wins and try to get some very overpowered uh reds for uh you know getting those rewards and, and having a shot at getting one of those insane cards so there's going to be a lot of gameplay demand as well so since we've seen the panic selling all week you know if there's you know when there is panic selling today i think it's going to kind of come to a culmination and then you're going to see some cards rebound. So it should be a really, really active day on the market with a lot of prices moving up and down, maybe down and then up later. You never know. It just depends on the card. So if there's cards that you're wanting for your team, just keep a close eye on those today. And uh, it, it should be a fun day on the market with a lot of fluctuations, a lot of trading potential, and then also timing your buys in that first hour most likely should result in some, some gains later on, I think. I think that first hour is going to be the key for the market today on this game. So let's take a look at SPC fodder as well, because I know some of you guys um, just like watching fodder on the weekends. SBC stuff is down a bit as people prepare for the panic of, well, not even the panic, but the supply this weekend. And of course, today it's going to hit on the lightning rounds and stuff like that. You've got 85s that are kind of creeping back down towards 5,000 coins. 86s are back to about 10K after being 13K on Wednesday. Um, and your higher tier fodder is still up. You know, you've got 90 rated cards that are like 34 to 35,000 coins that are up because of the La Liga guaranteed SBC and because of the showdown Rodrigo and Fabinho. So, you know, I would keep a close eye on fodder. I think it would drop a little more today and I think it's going to be a good buy this weekend once again. Now, of course, last week, the lower tier fodder didn't do as well. Like the 84s and 85s didn't move up as much as they had. And it was because a lot of the hype SBCs were higher rated. I think that whenever we get to this coming Wednesday for a League One Guaranteed Tots SBC, that higher tier part of the market is going to be the place that will probably move more again. So I would really watch your 86s, I think. 86s and 87s, those are the ones that moved the most last week. I think that with an 87 or maybe even an 88 rated squad required for the League One Guaranteed Tots this next Wednesday, those cards will be the ones you want to focus in on this weekend if you're going to invest in the SBC fodder. I'd also I'd also take a look at a team of the uh, team of the week investment because this is the last team of the week investment on the whole entire year of FIFA. And these cards, like Paulista as an 86 rated in for him, is discard. Like that's pretty crazy. Di Maria is 33,000 coins. I know that Tots cards have gotten these cards down really, really low, but doing a club stock on a couple of these, buying one, putting it in your club, especially for the higher to mid-tier informs is not a bad idea at all because I think they'll slowly start to rise in the next couple of weeks as we head into the summer and they're going to release a lot more SBCs. So yes, they could do an 81 plus pack for a team of the week player. I think that was a pack that was added to the code earlier on this week. It was an 81 plus, yeah, right here, 81 plus team of the week player pack. I believe it's in one of these right here. Um, I don't know when this is going to be released but honestly informs are all like discard right now so it doesn't hurt to just buy one and put it in your club like that really does not hurt at all uh at this time now also talking about some of these packs that were added um it's going to be interesting to see the lightning rounds today and a couple things that we noticed from this as well is a 75 plus times 10 league one rare players pack that's basically like the 75 plus times 10 from the Bundesliga Tots. Um, you know, they're going to release that as an SBC later on this next week. This one is what honestly is a bit unfortunate. A 75 plus times 2 League One Rare Players Pack. That's going to be our upgrade pack that will come out on Monday or one of the upgrade packs. 75 plus is a really, really low rating for a League One specific pack compared to the 80 plus that we just had for La, uh, La Liga. But... There's so many fewer rare golds in League One. That's why they have to do that. Also, a mini 85 plus star player pack. And then we've all been talking about like the 35% Bundesliga lightning rounds and the 28% Bundesliga Tots pack lightning rounds that killed the Tots cards in these past two weeks, late night on Friday night. Um, we don't have one that crazy for League One, but I think this is going to be the lightning round pack that would be similar to those. League One half pack. It can contains eight gold rare players with four 
guaranteed to be from League One. So that'll probably have like a 20% drop, maybe like a 15% drop rate in the store, I, I would think, of League One TOTS players. Um, but again, that's just going to be, and it's all going to depend today, again, on the pack weight, on how cheap the players are on the market. If you get on the market today, right after the content drop, and you see that these TOTS cards from League One are all dirt cheap, that's going to be, that's going to be like set the alarms off. There's going to be panic selling on a lot of areas of the market. Prices are going to drop overnight and maybe even into tomorrow and Saturday a bit with a few bounce ups and arounds in there too. Uh, but that's, that would be crazy. And if it's not, if it's kind of a dead day today and you know, we have a Tots Neymar, it's coming out on the market at like 5 million coins. That's almost the same price as Vinny Jr. Then I'd be like, okay, based on how uh, the Neymar stats looked from the leaked card, uh, he shouldn't be as expensive as Vinny Jr. today. I think that Neymar should be like 3 million coins, hopefully less than that, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think Vinny Jr. has a way better card in terms of stats, and he's just a better FIFA player this year in terms of the meta of the game. Uh, and that does boil down to stats, of course, as well. Of course, Neymar is 5-star, five 5-star, five so that gives him a bit of an edge, but his stats aren't as good. So that's going to be interesting. So I think that this Vinny Jr. card, which I actually tried him out today and he was amazing. Um, I think he is going to drop some more this morning with panic selling. He's 4.5 mil right now. I bought him there, sold him there. And I think that he's probably going to have some more panic selling today. And, and some of the other TOTS cards from La Liga, you're going to see some panic on those just because today is such a huge day on the game for League One TOTS cards. That's where all of the hype is. Now, also be careful if you have any of the Liga Portugal cards. Darwin Nunez is the only one of value really from that team. He's going to get hit with supply today, but also watch the panic selling this morning. If you guys remember Taliska from last week, Taliska took a huge drop in price on Friday and Saturday. Uh, and I think that Nunez is going to be in the same boat. Nunez was like, I, I sold him for 830 yesterday morning and I, I bought him at 770 sold him at 830 and he's back down to 760 i would not be surprised if this card hits 500k this weekend um yeah because of the hype of league one and just him getting supplied more and and panic selling it's going to happen this morning on friday as well so it's just going to be hands down an exciting day if you have any saved up packs today 84 times 25 any like league one specific packs good luck i hope you pack some blues and hopefully the pack weight this week is just straight up better than La Liga because La Liga pack weight was awful um, and you can see the counter is up to 66 but in reality a lot of the cards that I packed this week were just not good like I finally got an Acuna um, and none of the other cards that I packed even make it into like a team <laughs> like I even named the squad La Liga packs suck when I was trying out Vinny Jr. today um, you know I haven't even packed anybody higher value wise than Acuna so it's just it was a terrible week for the pack weight, but don't let that discourage you for League One because League One is super duper hype. And hopefully today we see some cards on the game that are absolutely cracked and hopefully some prices that are pretty cheap because that means they're pretty packable. And that means we should be packing them later on in the week when upgrade packs come out. So it's just going to be an exciting day in general. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you're looking forward to the most today and again it's going to be so fun to watch the market i will be live streaming on twitch as i mentioned check that link down below in the description and uh i'm not sure this is a quick little note as well for tomorrow's video just a bit of an update uh there might not be one i'm going on a quick trip with some family um so depending on how it looks it might be a you know one of the cheeky tfa phone videos or we might not be able to get one up at all. Uh, but if if League One Tots is really, really hype today and the prices are cheap and it's insane, then I'll definitely try to get one up, but we'll have to see on that one. So just a bit of an update here at the end of the video for those still watching. But League One Tots is today. It's going to be hyped. If you're excited, again, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.